Hi there! Are you sure that you know everything about basic grips on the pole? If not, this video is for you. Even if you are not a beginner already, it's very important to keep working on your basic grips and there are lots of conditioning exercises which will help you with this. So stay with me and let's do some of them right now! The first basic grip is called climbing grip and it's called climbing because we use it for climbing the pole. Both of your hands are in the same position as if you are holding two cups. Your outside arm is lower, inside arm is a little bit higher. Both elbows are bent and your outside elbow is looking inside. So your forearm is really pushing the pull and your inside arm, which is higher, it's pulling up. So this is the most difficult task here because both of your hands should do completely different things at the same time simultaneously. So you push and pull at the same time. To start practicing it and to, to do the first conditioning exercise, we place our legs on the pole as if we are going to climb in the same position. Make sure that you squeeze the pole with your inner knees bones. And we are going just to do the squats here, very easy. Down and up. But what I want you to concentrate here on is the work of your upper body. So you really push with your lower hand and pull with your upper one at the same time. So this conditioning exercise will help you not just improve your grip, but also improve the way you climb on the pole. So keep pushing and pulling here. And of course we switch, yep, we do the same on the other side. Again, we place the legs as if we are going to climb the pole. Your lower hand is pushing and upper arm is pulling. Really put the elbow inside so it will be easier for you. Basic grip number two is an invert grip. It's called invert because we use it for all invert positions on the pole. So for this grip, we stand next to the pole. Your inner arm is pushing the pole with the bicep. We hold the pole again as if we are holding a cup of water. Your outside arm is a little bit higher, just make yourself comfortable. Usually it's on the same level with your forehead or a little bit higher or for some people even a little bit lower. Also very important to push your hips to the front. So we push the hips to the front here before we go into any conditioning exercise here or to a full inward. The most common mistake that people push the pole under the armpit. If your pole is under the armpit, you block yourself from moving up. 
So to make it easy and to make it right, make sure that you really push with the bicep to the pole. And here it's a little bit easier because here we need to push only with the bicep, but both of our hands are really pulling ourselves up and we drop shoulders down away from the ears. So the first and basic drill for improving your inward grip is just lifting your knees to the chest. So you just tuck your knees up and slowly place them down. Pushing hips to the front and really pulling with both of your arms up. And of course, we are doing the same on the other side. Push with the bicep, pull with both of your hands. Hips to the front and we lift knees up to the chest. And if you are not a beginner already, I have another version of this conditioning exercise, which will be a little bit more challenging for you. Basic grip number three is called split grip. For this grip, we need to face the pole. One arm will be higher, again, as if you are holding a cup of water. And your lower hand will be in this position when your thumb is looking down. So you open your palm to the pole and your thumb is looking directly down to the floor. So if you are a beginner, the most important thing here is not to lose the strength of your upper shoulder. You really need to pull with your upper arm up. So you always want to keep this upper shoulder in the position, dropping it down away from the ear. And as for your lower hand, you can find the elbow somewhere on the side of your belly here and push a little bit to this part of your torso. You need to push the pole with your lower hand. It means that your elbow should be always a little bit bent. So again, it's a little bit complicated task for the brain. Yep. As we need to lift with upper hand and push with the lower one. But that's what makes it even more interesting. So for now, just try to feel the shoulders. Feel that you pull and push at the same time. Pull and push. So also find the position of your lower arm, which is comfortable for you. Usually it's somewhere on the same level with your lower belly, but it can depend from person to person. Just make sure that your elbow is bent and you're really comfortable in pushing the pole. So for the beginning, we just pull and push, engaging our upper body as much as we can. Only if you feel comfortable doing that, you can start lifting yourself and pushing at the same time, lifting a little bit your feet from the floor just a little bit just a little bit don't concentrate on jumping here yep really concentrate on lifting and pushing at the same time and again if you are not a beginner already yep you can do another variation of a conditioning exercise here when you place both of your feet on the pole and you keep doing this movement with your shoulders with your arms pulling and pushing at the same time and this will definitely help you to improve your creep and to become better in all beautiful combos in all elements you are dreaming about that's for sure thank you very much for watching and if you find this video useful please share some love and subscribe to my channel as more videos are on the way and as usual feel free to connect you can find me on instagram or simply in the comment section below i'll be super happy to chat with you take care